Hi everyone. Today we will see about the hormones produced by the heart or the endocrine function of the heart. Although the heart had long been considered as a muscular pump which is performing the mechanical work of the circulation, it has been recognized as an endocrine organ because of the secretory function of the cardiac myocytes. The myocytes produce two hormones of a family of hormones designated in natriuretic peptides based on their abilities to uh, stimulate salt and water excretion by the uh, direct renal action and by the actions in other tissues including uh, endocrine organs uh, which is responsible for uh, control of fluid and electrolytes homeostasis. So what are that hormones? The first one is atrial natriuretic peptide ANP the second one is brain natriuretic peptide, BNP. The name brain, it doesn't make sense. The major part of this hormone is produced by cardiac myocytes. Anyway, the ANP is produced by atrial uh, cardiac myocytes and the BNP is produced by ventricular cardiac myocytes, which is 10 times lesser potent than ANP. Both ANP and BNP is released uh, by the trigger of plasma volume overload or the hyperosmolarity of plasma. Even though many biological actions have been involved, the hallmark effect of these hormones are to unload the vascular tree via a combination of CNS, pituitary, uh, adrenal, vascular and renal actions. Let us see the principal biological actions of uh, BNP and ANP. So here you go. This is the principal biological actions of ANP and BNP. So what is going to happen with the kidney with the release of ANP and BNP? The glomerular filtration rate will be increased to excrete more water. Collecting duct sodium reabsorption will be decreased to excrete more sodium and diuresis and natriuresis will be increased also for the excretion of more water and what is going to happen with the nervous system the cns the sympathetic activity will be decreased okay and the salt and water appetite will be also decreased to restrict the intake of water and salt and what is going to happen with the pituitary pituitary will decrease the production of vasopressin ADH it will also uh, ex uh, help to excrete more water and what is going to happen with the heart the cardiac myocyte hypertrophy will be decreased and cardiac fibrosis also will decrease will be decreased it will help to pump uh, the pumping activity of the heart will uh, will be improved okay and what is going to happen with the vasculature the vascular smooth muscle proliferation will be decreased and vascular smooth muscle tone will be decreased and vascular regeneration will be increased it will uh, help to ac accommodate more water and it will uh, decrease the load on the heart okay then the renin angiotensin aldosterone system activity also will be decreased we know that the renin angiotensin aldosterone system activity uh, will help to retain more water in the vasculature so w w when it is decreased it will help to excrete uh, more water and adipose tissue this lipolysis will be increased in adipose tissue it will help to maintain the lipid level and the immune system the pro-inflammatory cytokine release will be decreased to prevent the shock so finally when the bnp and amp production is triggered either fluid overload or our heart is not efficient enough to pump properly if the pump is showing failure signs the body will try to support the pump by decreasing the fluid load by these hormones. That's why we are measuring these hormone levels in the blood 
as a biomarker to diagnose cardiac failure. I hope you enjoyed my class. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.